which thing is greater and which thing is smaller. For example, if you are given two different amounts of money and someone lets you pick from it, pick one from it, you would probably want the greatest amount, right? How do we mention which amount is greater and which one amount is smaller? We use symbols of greater than and less than. This is the symbol of greater than and this is a symbol of smaller than, right? Remember, the symbol is always open towards the bigger number. So if a number is opened towards left, that means the amount at the left is greater than the amount at the right of the symbol. But if the symbol is opened towards right, like this one, the red one, it means the amount at the left is smaller than the amount at the right. But how to decide which amount is greater? First thing is, if you are div given two different amounts with different number of digits, so the greater the number of digits, the greater is the number. For example, we have two different amounts here, 1625 and 10754. When we compare both numbers, we see that the first amount right here has four digits, whereas the second one has five digits. So the second one has greater number of digits. So this symbol, this number will be greater and the symbol will open its mouth, you are open its end towards the greater number. And we'll say that the number at left, which is 1625, smaller than the number at right, which is 10754 have another example. We have a, did, a number 281741, which is a six digit number. And the other number is 42598, which is a five digit number. Now we see that this first number has greater number of digits, more number of digits. So this number will definitely be bigger. So the symbol has opened its mouth towards the number at left. And we say that the left number 281741 is greater than the number at right, that is 42598. Remember, symbol always opens towards the greater number, but we start saying the statement from left accordingly. How to decide which amount is greater if number of digits are same? When number of digits were different, we chose the amount with greater number of digits to be greater than the other one, right? That was simple. But now if number of digits are same, how will we decide which amount is greater? Now we will compare individual digits starting from left to right, starting from the highest place value towards the smallest place value. For example, we have two numbers and by chance, both of them are six digit numbers. First number here is, one six three one two five and the second number is one zero three four seven five now which number is greater we will start first of all mention the place values so that we should know what is the highest place value here you can see that the highest place value in both the numbers is hundred thousands right so we'll first compare the digits at hundred thousands place and we see both are one both are equal but it doesn't mean that both the numbers are also equal. Only the digits at 100,000th place are equal. So we'll move towards the digit to the left of 100,000, that is 10,000. When we look at 10,000s, we see that the first number has six at 10,000th place, whereas the second number has zero. Which one is greater? Six is greater. So this number will be greater when we compare 10,000s we came to know that the first number is greater. So the symbol will be open towards the first number and we'll say that the first number 
163125 is greater than the number at the right oh sorry right ah oh, yeah right number at the right that is 103475 okay let's have another example we have two more six digit numbers first one is 281431 and second is 281590 okay once again mention the place values first and start comparing from the highest most place value that is 100000s in this case when we look at the 100000s of both the numbers both of them have two that is the same number equal so we'll move towards uh the 10000s place the 10000th place has eight once again both the numbers have the same digit at 10000th place move towards 1000th place 1000th place also have the same number okay but still it doesn't mean that both the numbers are equal because the last three digits are different okay moving towards the 100th place we see now that the first number has four at 100th place which is smaller than the digit at 100th place of second number which is five so the greater amount will be obviously second so the symbol will be opened towards the second number after comparing hundreds we came to know that the second number is the bigger one and we will say that the first number 281431 is smaller than the second number okay sorry for uh, disruption uh we'll go back to so we were saying that the first number 281431 is smaller than the second number 281590 remember we always start uh, the symbol always open towards the greater number which in this case is the second number and we always start saying the statement from left ordering things okay the next thing we are going to study today is ordering or to arrange things in some particular order ordering means arranging things in some particular order whether we are arranging it from smaller to bigger or from bigger to smaller okay so we were talking about ordering things means we are arranging things in an order like smaller to bigger or bigger to smaller smaller to bigger means that the smallest thing is placed at the first place and then step wise we go towards the bigger number bigger amount or bigger thing and bigger to smaller means the biggest thing is placed at the first place and then accordingly we go towards the smallest one ordering numbers is also the same you just have to arrange numbers in a particular order we call them ascending order and descending order as you can see in ascending order smallest number is put at the first place and then we go step wise toward the greater number whereas in descending order the greatest number the biggest number is placed at the first place and then we go step wise towards the smallest number right ascending order of numbers is arranging numbers from smaller to bigger means the smallest number will be placed at first will be given the first place and then the will go towards the bigger numbers for example we have four numbers here all of them are you can see six digit numbers to put these numbers in ascending order we need to identify the smallest number why because the smallest number will come at the first place because we are doing ascending order we have to go from smaller to bigger so smallest number is to be identified first identification ke liye wohi hum comparison karenge for comparing we'll mention the place value so that we should know which place value we are comparing start comparing the digits of all the numbers from the biggest place value which is 100000 in this case okay these are the digits the circle digits are the digits at 100000 place and we see that 
The second number, this one, if you can see my pointer, 498132, has four at 100,000 space, which is smaller than the rest of numbers. All of three have five, right? So four is, the, four is smaller, so it means that this number is the smallest number, and this will come at first place. Okay, so we are now left with three numbers, and we have seen that at 100,000, all of them have five. So we'll go to the 10,000th place. One step towards right. Okay, uh, the first number has two. The next we have, it has three at its 10,000th place, and the last number has zero at its 10,000th place. It means this one is the smallest uh, right now among these three. So this will come at second place. Okay, at the 10,000th place, we have two digits left. Uh, first digit has two at 10,000 space and the rest has three. The two is smaller than three. So we'll say that this number will come at the third place and the remaining number goes at the last place. And now we have arranged the numbers in ascending order. Let's have another example. Now we are going to put these numbers in ascending order once again and we will obviously identify the smallest number. Okay, after writing, after mentioning their place values, we will start comparing from the largest place value, which is 100,000 in this case. Okay, we see that the first and last number have five at 100,000 space, whereas second and third middle two numbers have six it means five are smaller, but first and fourth number are not the same. Which among those two is the smallest? For that, we'll go to the 10,000th place of those two numbers. Now, first number has seven at 10,000th place and the last number has three. Which one is smaller? Obviously three is smaller. So this last number will come at the first place. And this first number, definitely it will come at the second place. Okay, remaining two numbers. We have seen that both have same digit at 100,000th place. Once again, both have same digits at 10,000th place also. Going to 1,000th place, we see that the second number, the remaining number, has zero at 10,000th place, whereas this number has six. So, we say that this with zero is smaller than the rest of the number. So we say it will come at third place and the remaining number will come at last place definitely. Now the numbers are once again arranged in ascending order. Smallest number is written at the first place and stepwise we have gone to the largest number and largest number is at the last place. Descending order of numbers is arranging numbers from bigger to smaller. Now we are going to identify the biggest number. We are given a bunch of numbers here. All of them are six digit numbers. To put these in descending orders, identify the biggest number because in descending order, biggest number come at first place. Method will remain the same. Mention the place values first and start comparing from the highest place value, which is 100,000s in this case. All of them have one at 100,000 space. All of them have equal digit, same digit. So we'll move towards the 10,000th place. Which one is greater? Now, not smaller. Now we are going to decide which number is greater, greatest. So the greater digit is three. First digit has one. Uh, second has three, third has zero, and fourth has two at 10,000th place. So this one is biggest. So we say that this is the biggest number in the series or the bunch we are given. Rest of the numbers, so this last number has two which at 10,000th place, which is greater than the 10,000th place digit of first and this number last number. Okay, so we say that this one, two, five, nine, six, five comes at second place. Now, among the rest of the two digits, which has a greater digit at 10,000 place, the first number. So it will come at third place and the remaining number goes at the last place. We have now arranged the given bunch of numbers in descending order. That is 
from bigger to smaller. Let's have one last example of putting numbers in descending order. Once again, we have some uh, four digit numbers. First of all, we'll write the place values and then identify from the starting from the highest place value towards the lowest that which has the greatest digit. Okay, when we look at their hundred thousands place, we see that the middle two numbers have greater digit, that is two. This is greater than obviously one, which is at hundred thousand place of first and last number. Okay, two is greater, but it's, it's the same. Two numbers cannot come at one place at first place. So we'll move towards the 10,000 space. And we see that this number, the second number has one at 10,000 space, whereas the third number has zero at 10,000 space. So this number will come at first place as it is the greatest. And this with zero at 10,000 space will come at second place. Now, we have seen from the remaining numbers that both of them have the same digit at 100,000th place going towards 10,000th place. This first number has zero, whereas the last number has one. Which one is greater? The last one. Okay, so this will come at our third place in the sequence and the remaining number obviously comes at the last place. Now, we have arranged the numbers in descending order. That is from this biggest value to smallest. You can see 21, 213,010, 201,360, 110,111, and 101,357. Okay, guys. So today we studied about six digit numbers and in six digit numbers, we did comparison of six digit numbers about which one is greater and which one is smaller. We did ordering of six digit numbers in ascending order that is from smaller to bigger and descending order that is from bigger number towards smaller number. This is your homework guys. Today's 24th June 2020, page number 33, question number 14, 15 and 16 are to be done on books. I repeat, you have to do it on books. In the evening, inshallah, you will provide the key to just match your answers. In our next lesson, we will uh, do, sorry, we will do exercise one, inshallah. And uh, thank you so much for your time. And I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Stay home, stay safe. Allah Hafiz.